Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Canadian History X. Today we have a short episode, but is in honor of Corrine Wilson, who was born today, February 4th, the day I recorded this, in 1885. Born in Montreal, she was the daughter of Liberal Senator Robert Mackay, who also happened to be good friends with Sir Wilfrid Laurier, one of our greatest Prime Ministers. In 1909, she married Norman Wilson, who was a Liberal MP for Russell in eastern Ontario. They would move to Cumberland, Ontario in 1909 to begin a family. Nine years later, they moved to Ottawa, where Corrine was heavily involved in volunteer work. In her work, she helped to found both the 20th Century Liberal Association and the National Federation of Liberal Women of Canada. She would serve as president of the second organization from 1938 to 1948. In 1930, she was appointed to the Canadian Senate by Prime Minister William Lyon Mackenzie King. She was the very first woman to be elected to the Canadian Senate, and her election came only four months after the person's case judgment, which ruled that women were full persons under the law in Canada. In 1938, she served as the president of the League of Nations Society of Canada and spoke out publicly against the appeasement of Hitler by the Munich Agreement. Throughout the Second World War, while the government of William Lyon Mackenzie King resisted allowing Jewish refugees from Germany into Canada, she arranged to have 100 orphans brought into the country and adopted. In 1949, she was appointed as Canada's first female delegate to the United Nations General Assembly. She also served as the chairman of the Canadian National Committee on Refugees, and was the first woman to chair a Senate Standing Committee. In 1950, she was presented with the Cross of the Knight of the Legion of Honour by France for her work with child refugees. In 1955, she once again made history by becoming the first woman Deputy Speaker of the Canadian Senate. Her husband Norman would pass away the next year due to failing health. She would pass away on March 3, 1962, and together they had eight children. Today, a school in Orleans, Ontario is named for her. Well, that's another episode of Canadian History X. If you'd like to get in touch with me, you can email me at crwbaird at gmail.com. That's B-A-I-R-D. You can also visit me at uh, on Facebook by searching for Canadian History X. Remember, that's E-H-X. And you can follow me on Twitter. Just look for my handle, Canadian History E-H, not E-H-X. I forgot to put the X in. Thanks, and bye.